external care unit, adults and children, ambulances, lots, and all wards. That's just take the stairs. They're healthy. Fuck off. And you the literally imagine just opening the door and you see this and just go like, fuck this shit. I'm out. Press the button. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Close doors. Boom. <laughs> moment when uh, but there's nice cherry blossoms going around here especially sakura season happening in japan soon so <gasps> is it izzy sweetie please don't turn into like a dark thing and just disappear and make another blood moon hey izzy oh hi leroy i'm glad you're here the hold on listen why'd you just abandon me like that um. Oh, that's that's only right. My bad. Um, I had to. I got. <sighs> you don't just get away with this by just giving me a pouty face. You can't just drop something like that on a guy and walk away. And you never came back either. Have you been out here this whole time? Um, Leroy, buddy, she literally vanished out of nowhere. It's not like. If you saw her walk out the door, that'd be one thing. <laughs> it, but she vanished into thin air. My dude, my bro. <laughs> we thought you were smart for like half a second. <laughs> Use your head. I'm sorry. I thought it makes sense to wait by the exit. But why did you disappear in the first place? She. <sighs> That's not important right now, okay? The ambulance is coming soon. Okay, Izzy. You've lost me again. Why are you waiting for an ambulance? So you can get on it. Can I maybe get some more information on that? You're killing me here. <sighs> okay. Fine. We have some time before it gets here, so I guess I can explain. Start from the top. Please. Alright. So you know how I told you that the real you is still in a coma? Oh, so she- wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. So she is cognizant of what is happening. It, so we can confirm that anyone who's outside of Leroy is cognizant of what is happening? Or at least we can assume that Izzy knows specifically what is happening. Okay. But okay, whatever. Continue. Yeah. But what do you mean by that? I am awake and talking to you right now. That's because this world isn't the real world. Like you asked, it's a dream. Kind of. This is bull. I know you're scared and confused, but what I'm saying is pretty simple. The real Leroy is currently in a coma. This world is full of people whose real selves are comatose. Just like you. Wait, there are other people in here? Yep, but you shouldn't worry about them. You should focus on yourself, okay? Wait, there are other people somewhere around here? How many? Why doesn't Izzy care? So, am I dying? Well, in a way, isn't everyone? You know what I meant. Well, why would you think that you're dying? Brain injuries that lead to comas generally result in death. Well, you're alive and in a stable condition right now. Stable condition? I'm halfway between being comatose and being dead. Technically, both comatose and dead are incredibly stable conditions. I'm just gonna let this one go before she changes her mind and leaves again. Fine. Whatever. So why am I in this world? This world is a test. Well, normally it is, but not for you. You're special. That's why I said you just need to wait for the ambulance. If you get on the ambulance, you'll wake up. Easy peasy. If I get on the ambulance, I'll wake up? Just like that? Really? That kind of seems too easy. Or it might just be like the, the bad, mm, lucky gift horse in the mouth, but... And again, Izzy kind of went crazy for like half a second, so like, mm, sure. If I get on that ambulance in this world, I'll wake up in the real world. 
Do I have that right? Yep. Why don't you take a seat with me? It won't be long. How do you know all this? That's also not important right now, okay? Let me explain the rest. Everyone who comes here receives a mark somewhere on their body. A mark? What do you mean? Exactly what I said, silly. It's a mark. Like a tattoo. And they're color-coded, like the one on your hand. Your color corresponds to the reason that you're in a coma. For example, Leroy, yours is black. Wait, so there are people running around here with brain injuries and they all have black marks? Um, not quite. When I say reason, I don't mean the medical one, exactly. How can I put this? Everyone here has some kind of flaw and made some kind of choice that put them here. That's the reason. So it's like your fatal flaw, or something? That doesn't totally make sense to me, but I'll roll with it. Then, what was mine? My... flaw? Actually, like I said, you're a special case. Black means none. You didn't have a flaw that put you here. You just... made a mistake. That's also why I told you that this world isn't a test for you. You're an exception. You can just choose to leave. But it's a test for other people, right? What kind of test? Well, basically, normally, you'd relive your memories and reverse the bad choice you made that put you there. And then you wake up. Relive your memories? Reverse bad decisions? Is this some kind of joke? It sounds like a movie. Or it sounds like a video game. But I don't have to do that? Nope. All you have to do is get on the ambulance when it comes, and you'll wake up. So come on, come sit with me, okay? It's really that easy? Yep. Shouldn't you be grateful? I guess so. This is just a lot. Well, don't worry. I'm here with you. Come to think of it, since you're here too, where's your mom? And why are there co different colored hair ties in your hair, little missy? <laughs> uh. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> I can't just show it to you, you know. It's embarrassing. It's on her boob. Oh. Alright, I guess. Sorry. Or she could be 100% lying. <laughs> it's okay. So anyway, the ambulance comes every hour for 12 hours. You can take it wherever you, whenever you want. Of course, there's no reason to wait that long, since it'll be here in a few minutes. Hang on. Why only 12 hours? What happens then? If you don't take the ambulance by hour 12, then... Game over. You'll never wake up. But we're way ahead of schedule, so don't worry. This is a mess. Why does she know all of this? Why does she want me to leave so soon? I mean, if I have 12 hours, shouldn't I do something with them? <sighs> Fucker! I... <sighs> mm -hmm! I am put into a position where I'm just like, Izzy knows a lot more than she's letting on. She has different color ties in her hair that each correspond to the different colors that are on, like, the other characters. This is way too coincidental. On the other hand, just leave, because you can- you literally have no reason to be there. It's just like, eat shmur, and then shmur, it's just like... No, now it sucks to the player's position, because the player controls Leroy, it's just like... Do I stay and help, or do I do the smart thing and just leave? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure just leaving is also a bad ending. So I'm like, like, I'm assuming that I am here to help other people. And I'm like some sort of purgatory guardian or something like that. <laughs> she has six ties. Maybe she has the white mark? Maybe? Who knows? Schmur? Eh? But it's just kind of like... Is he, is mysterious voice confirmed? I mean, come on. 12 hours is... Yes, yeah, like, she has to be the one answering all... Asking all the questions at the beginning. Like, it's pretty obvious that she's the one asking all the questions. But it's just a matter of why. Why is he? It's like, what is going on with this girl? Or maybe it could be like a big twist where it's not her and it's just we think it's her because it's convenient. 
This is like mm, shmurs and confusion. <laughs> let's we keep going. Let's see where this goes. Let's let's just see where this goes. I guess it can't hurt to wait a little while. Da da da. Dot dot question mark. Okay, we've been here for a long time, and I haven't seen or heard a thing. What's going on? It feels like it's been hours. Hey, Izzy, hasn't it been a while already? Be patient, silly. It's coming. Don't you trust me? I do. It's just maybe I can work around until the ambulance shows up, and I don't trust you. But anyways. No, no, no! Stay here! What if you miss it? Then it'll still come around again for 11 more hours, right? Don't you want to wake up? Don't you want to go home? There's no reason to stay here when you can just leave. I'm just trying to help you, Leroy. Her face looks sincere. I don't think she'd have any reason to lie to me. But... Oh, okay, we're falling again. We are falling again. You've got an important decision to make. What's it gonna be, little one? <sighs> I don't trust Izzy. And I'm gonna be a fucking hero, even though protagonists always go forward there on their decision! Like, protagonists typically automatically go to the hero side. This is literally like, do you want to be a hero or do you want to be a smart person? It's like, I don't trust Izzy though. I feel like if I trust Izzy and I go on this ambulance, it's gonna be game over. I'm going inside. I'm gonna be a hero. Sorry, Izzy. This just doesn't feel right. I'll stay close by so I can hear the ambulance coming, okay? No! Don't! There's no point! I have to take a look around, okay? I'll be back. I just can't wait here forever, you know? Leroy, I need to warn you about something. Don't worry, I already know about the monsters in there. This is a different kind of monster. Avoid anyone you see with a white mark. Um, you mean like you? Because <laughs> you, you won't even show me the color of your mark, so I do not trust you. So, um, also, yeah, the rain is a little. Um, what? What's so special about white marks? They will do everything they can to keep you from waking up. If you see someone with a white mark, you must do your best to escape before they say anything to you. Don't fall for any of their tricks. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Izzy. Don't thank me. Good time. I hope you'll come to forgive me. She does have a white mark! Boom! Boom shakalaka! She does have a white mark! Okay. Yeah, she has a white mark. She's one of them, but she's letting him go for some reason. Back inside. So, the colors. Oh, uh, hmm, color, 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 color. What color should we pick? I want to pick red. But I, I know there are other colors and other people and other, other things. Do we just, do we just like, should we put it up to vote or should we just go with like the favorite color? Uh, red? You clearly go red first. Of course I go red first! I always go red first. Red's my favorite color. 
Also, green is not a creative color. Anyways, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, we're going red. You all know me so well. You all know me. Ring ding 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 just fucking fuck that! <laughs> Alright, so we are on the floor red. Um, let's figure out some floor red, shall we? Oh, this is a rave. I'm still waiting for, like, where's the rave music at? <laughs> okay. Oh, lots of blood. Red mark. Patient name, Prima Donna. I can't read that. Uh... Age, 28. Occupation, pro fighter. Alright. Pro fighter. Okie dokie. Date of birth, November 29th. Cause, severe TBI. Blood type, O+. Diagnosis, repeated long-term head trauma resulting in, uh, cerebr uh vascular, I can't read that, and subdermal um, hematoma. Treatment notes, very poor prognosis, complete recovery unlikely IV pain medication strongly recommended oh uh, so basically what is she like an underground fighter yeah this was traumatic brain injury but it's like is she like an underground fighter because like we're in a rave or does she just get into fights that's the thing I'm a pro fighter. It, is, mm, it can be many things with that. And yeah, whatever. But we are. There's the rave music coming up. You can slowly hear it. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ooh, like your butt. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ooh, d d do not touch me there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit. This is a lot of people. Wait. Hang on. Are these really people? I can't tell if there's some kind of illusion or if they're just ignoring me. They don't seem to be reacting to me at all. Well, where's there's smoke, there's fire. Something must be going on past here. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Don't touch me there, excuse me. Oh, I like your hair, excuse me. Can I have your number soon? Excuse me, pardon me. Hi. Turn around and walk away, glasses. Shit. I was really hoping for the security guard was one of them. No one goes in. She doesn't take visitors. If I want in there, I'd better think fast. Oh, well, I really need to see her. Do you now? How many times do you think I've heard that line? I'm not paparazzi. And neither are any of these upstanding citizens. Yeah, right. This isn't going anywhere. I can't do this. How am I supposed to keep calm and come up with an excuse with this jerk in my face? I just don't have the patience for this shit like this. And apparently patience is a skill. Patience is a thing. Patience is highlighted in blue. Alright. So I seriously can't go in? Legit? Alright. <laughs> I need to break color. So do I go blue? Am I, am I supposed to go to blue now? Is that a thing where, like, I you have to go to each one? Lamau? Wait! I'm Wait, hold on! Wait! Hold it! <laughs> Shmer! Do I just wait? What's it? It's not easy! We're breaking all the rules! So red is patience. No, blue is patience! Blue is patience! Hold on. Aram, I keep moving glasses. You ain't get past me and you have a damn good reason to. How am I supposed to keep calm and come up with the excuse? This jerk in my face. I just have the patience for shit like this. It... Maybe go to blue. I, you know what? Challenge into a tool with children's card games. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just test this. this shrug. Big gigantic shrug. That's the only thing I'm going on. So go blue. Okay, so we're going to go to blue. Uh, the blue. Lamau's in confusion. <laughs> dot dot dot. I guess I'll go with blue. Blue is nice and calm, right? Or something.
This elevator sure has been moving for a long time. And is it just me or is there something moving out there? Oh, motherfucker! That wasn't a that wasn't a white mark, was it? I didn't see a white mark on him. Am I dumb? Am I blind? Oh God, please let there not be more of those monsters. There's probably gonna be more of those monsters. When will they ever end? Well, there's no way around it. Time to go. <laughs> Water, a colorless, transparent, odorless, tasteless liquid that falls in rain, forms in the seas, and drowns the uncareful. Shit! Shit! Whoa! What the heck is this? Water! Why is there water? It's so cold, 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 cold! I feel that our buttons aren't working. I have no choice. I've got to find a way out. Losing battles or experiencing something and something will stress you out so you're losing your state of mind. Your state of mind is losing how much time you have to start your duels. As your state of mind worsens, you will start a uh, future duels and significantly less time on the clock. Resting into bed or spending time doing something calming will improve your state of mind. Do not let your state of mind go low. Uh, okay, what do we got? What do we got? Oh no! Shit, 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 can't read that right now. Oh, Budge. Is this it? I'm gonna die here? Can't read. I... Fuck. Did I just die? Where am I now? I'm alive? Um, are you dead? You're adorable. Uh. I'm covered in water! <laughs> That's right. The floor flooded. Oh man, I'm soaked. Who's this girl? <coughs> How is she alive in here? Did she save me? Don't panic. It's okay. You're, you're okay. Wait. On the back of her hand. What is that? It's a blue tattoo. Exactly like the black one I have on my hand. This girl. She must be a blue mark. Whatever that means. I'm not dead. I think. Oh! Good! I'm, uh... I'm glad you're not dead. So am I, stranger. So am I. Did you save me? Uh, well, I mean, I heard you struggling, and I... I couldn't leave you out there. And when you weren't breathing, I just thought rescue breathing might help. Thanks. I was really in trouble. Of course. I would never just abandon someone who did die. I don't know what to say now. The quiet girl's not volunteering any more information, either. Did you m mind a question? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Stream King. <laughs> Stream King says I sound cute. You stop it. No, go ahead. I'm not sure how helpful I'll be, though. I was just wondering, uh, where are you from? Your Mandarin is so good, I... Oh, they're speaking Mandarin Chinese! Okay. Cool. My Mandarin? What the heck is this girl talking about? Or, because they're in a purgatory, everyone understands a universal language. So, when he's speaking to her, she thinks he's speaking in Mandarin. Interesting. We're both speaking English, obviously. Maybe, maybe she's not all there. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Mandarin? I don't speak Mandarin. I've never spoken anything but English my whole life. But, but what? Uh, but you're speaking it right now, though. This makes absolutely zero sense. It makes sense to the player, though, because the player is slightly smarter. Okay, there's a lot I'm not sure about, but I can definitely tell you that I'm speaking English. And so are you. I believe you, I just, well, never mind, I guess. She doesn't really seem to be crazy. Huh. 
Maybe it has something to do with this world we're in? This is just a guess. I have. No proof, okay? <laughs> I was with William Shatner there! <laughs> I have no proof, okay? But I think somehow, this world has the power to make us understand each other. Even though you're speaking English and I'm speaking Mandarin? I get it. It's... maybe it's kind of like the water. She goes silent again, not offering any further explanation of her statement. I think I'll have to steer the conversation myself at this rate. Well, actually, I was wondering... What's your name? Oh no, I'm sorry. How could I forget to tell you the only thing I remember? It's... It's Quentin. Isn't Quentin a guy's name? It's certainly not Chinese. But it would be rude to say anything. Nobody gets to choose their name. It's not her fault, after all. Anyway. Nice to meet you then, Quentin. My name's Leroy. So, what do you mean, like the water? How to put this? Uh, uh, well, the water isn't totally real. What are you saying? It's not real? I almost drowned in it a few minutes ago. If you don't know that it's not real, then you could probably drown, yes. But for some reason, if you just think really hard and stay calm, you can breathe in the water. You've just got to remember you're not really drowning. I know that probably doesn't make any sense, but I've done it a few times. Wait, so all you have to do is believe in your mind that you can breathe underwater? And suddenly you can? This is insane. There's no way. Forgive me if that's a little hard to believe. I know. I know. But this place isn't normal. I mean, we're talking right now, after all. She's right. I'm not sure I get why, but maybe this world is influenced by our perception? Quentin must be braver than I thought. To think she's gone out back there. That she's gone back out there. Somehow breathing underwater through sheer force of will. It's definitely inspiring. True. Anyway, so, what are you doing here if you can't drown outside? Why haven't you left? I... I can't get out. Why not? Actually, since you probably don't know, there'll be an ambulance outside at the top of every hour. Supposedly, if we get on it, we can leave. Okay, well, maybe that's not exactly what Izzy told me, but... I don't see why Quentin wouldn't be able to just get on the ambulance with us. I doubt it has some kind of magic force field or something. Or maybe this place has some way of stopping people who haven't passed their test from getting into the ambulance? Really? An ambulance? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's true, but we should try. If you're really telling the truth, then we don't drown, that is. I'm t telling the truth! Come with me. Does this... thing... lead outside? Yes. It's what we came through to get here. S sorry it's so tight in here. I think it was meant for one person. We're pretty far down in here too, so... We need to move slowly and be mindful of air and water pressure. What for? I figured you'd want out of here as soon as possible. Well, if the pressure around us changes too quickly, we might get decompression sickness. M maybe you've heard of it? The bends? Yeah. Wait, is that why we're in a pressure chamber? You know what this is? Mostly. I is an EMT, apparently. I don't remember everything, but it seems like I still know a bit. Oh, well, yes. This is a chamber that controls both water and air pressure. It's necessary since we're so far down. How far down are we? Actually, come to think of it, I don't really have a gauge for what depth could count as far down. Um, well, an average recreational scuba diver achieves depths of 40 meters. The current world record for a depth achieved and survived by a human is 300 meters, or about 1,000 feet. 
Gas is commonly used for scuba diving become too dangerous to use at about 2,000 meters under the surface. All gases become too toxic to breathe at 3,000 meters. And all the gases become lethal to the human body at 4,000 meters in depth. But by my estimates, based on the species of aquatic life I saw outside, this school is currently at 1,000 meters and sinking. Wow. You seem to know your stuff, too. Well, I... Uh, yeah, I guess. That's pretty cool. For a girl in mortal danger, Quentin sure is calm. I can't help but envy her. But something she just said is bothering me. And she's also very fucking cute. You said that this school is sinking. I'm pretty sure we're in a hospital. Oh, no? I thought it looked like a school. It was kind of hard to see near the elevator, but I was in a hospital for sure. Right? Well, maybe it doesn't really matter. Let's just get moving. Okay, so, uh, anyway, here we go. Half of me is worried that you can't actually breathe the water, but she's in here too. There's no way she'd be bluffing at this point. Remember that you can breathe. You can breathe, Leroy. I wish I could be as relaxed as Quentin looks in the water's rising past my neck. I can't do this. I can't. The water's so cold. It's like my lungs are breathing solid. Of course, this is a crazy idea. Why did I agree to this? But don't hold your breath, Leroy. Okay. See? Wow. Quentin is totally fine. Okay, maybe this isn't impossible. Wait, how can I even hear her voice underwater? No point in trying to figure that out one that one out. Just breathe, Leroy. Alright. Alright. I think I'm okay. You did it then! Now, if we wait like this for a little while, we can go Hey, sorry for the random question, but why did we have to go slowly again? I mean, if the water is imaginary, isn't the pressure imaginary too? Well, once you get used to the breathing water, it never gets any harder to keep breathing. But because this place is sinking, the pressure will get worse. The fact that the pressure is imaginary is the only reason we're alive right now. But even imaginary pressure can build up and become impossible to bear. Why is that highlighted in color? Is that something I need to know? But even imaginary pressure can build up and become impossible to bear. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Very much keep this in mind, because I, I have my theories about that one specifically. I have my theories. Just keep it in mind. The pressure's not the only thing, actually. Not the only thing? What do you mean? Uh, uh, never mind. I'm starting to notice a pattern where Quentin just stops talking, right before sharing crucial information. I'll admit that being shy can be endearing, but this is not the time. Come on, what's up? Did you maybe see anything weird on your way here? Yeah, unfortunately. I kept having to deal with these freaky monsters. So you did see them? Well, what should we do if we run into more? I guess we don't really have a choice then, right? We fight them. Two is better than one at least. But, right. Maybe with your help I might be able to fight them off. Let's do it. The sinking school rounds now entering. Interesting. Hmm. Whoa! What the heck? Where... Where are we? Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Hang on. Quentin, where are we? This isn't where I came from. What do you mean? This is where you... This is where I found you, though. No way. I was in a hospital. I'm sure of it. Not this... This is a school, just like you said. So, you don't know the way out from here? Sorry. I've never seen this place before. <sighs> oh. 
I disappointed her. After I said all that stuff about escaping. Hey, maybe we can take a look around? There could be a different way out from somewhere around here. There isn't. I... I already checked. All I could find were nine clubs rooms among three floors I could get to. And I think I saw a bulletin board upstairs. Every other hall and stairway is blocked. So apparently we have to get upstairs to the bulletin board. Just so just noting that. Continuing. And I can't get into any of the rooms on my own because the doors are all She stopped talking again, but I knew exactly what she was going to say. They're being guarded by those monsters. Could we escape by breaking a window or swimming to the surface or something? I saw something out there in the open water, watching me. If you look at the window for a long enough time, you'll see it. She doesn't offer any further description of it. Great. That only makes it sound scarier. It doesn't look like it can get us in here. But if we try to leave... So we're trapped. What can we do? Wait to be rescued? Izzy said this would happen. She said I could lose my chance to wake up. I should have listened. There's gotta be something else we can do. You said you haven't checked the individual rooms yet, right? Right. Then let's check them out together. Stay close to me. Oh, okay. Thanks. Sinking school grounds. The school within Quentin's mind is sinking. As it continues to sink into the abyss, depth will permanently increase. Every 1,000 meters, your maximum state of mind while exploring the sinking school grounds will decrease. State of mind affects how much time you will start during battle. Depth will not increase during dialogue, so take your time reading. Thank you! Appreciate it! I was worried. I'm like, I have to speed through all this dialogue to make sure I don't go, like, crazy.